The Airbus A350 is one of the most advanced and efficient passenger aircraft out there. Its development cost Airbus more than 10 billion US dollars and involved the creation and usage of entirely new materials. Large parts of the wing surface, for example, are made from carbon fiber, allowing for a more flexible and lighter construction. In June 2013, the A350 took to the skies for the first time in Toulouse, France. Thousands of spectators were able to see the new aircraft flying in all its glory. Thereafter, a rigorous 14-month flight testing campaign followed, including tests at arctic temperatures or long-range endurance flights. Finally, after completing all these trials, the first A350 was delivered to Qatar Airways in December 2014. Today, we are going to find out how this magnificent airliner was defeated not by arctic cold or the challenges of the stratosphere, but by a single cup of a hot beverage. Welcome to Airspace, right after a quick word from today's sponsor. Do you ever get irritated by ads that are specifically targeting your area or browsing habits? Or do you get annoyed that your favorite streaming service is not showing you the latest season of your favorite show? Or do you want to find better rates for that streaming service? Then Atlas VPN has a solution for you. Atlas VPN encrypts your internet traffic, enabling you to browse the web safely and without surveillance, even when using unprotected Wi-Fi hotspots. You can use Atlas VPN at blazing speeds, stream your favorite show or upgrade your gaming experience without delays or buffering. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a big discount. This means you can get a 3-year subscription for just $1.39 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. You also won't have to deal with multiple subscriptions, as one subscription covers all your devices. Atlas VPN also helps you to make your password safer using their data breach monitor feature. With it, you can check whether one of your accounts has been affected by a data leak in the past. So, if you'd like to improve your online privacy, click the link in the description and get access to the Atlas VPN Christmas deal with 86% off and 3 extra months for free. Now let's get back to the video. On November 9th, 2019, an Asiana Airbus A350 was cruising over the South China Sea on its flight from Seoul, South Korea, to Singapore. Suddenly, one of the engines lost thrust and the crew was forced to descend. Subsequent restart attempts of the engines were unsuccessful, therefore the pilots decided to divert to Manila in the Philippines. So far, the event is not very suspicious. Engine failures just happen from time to time. But when technicians took a closer look at the engine after landing, it seemed fine. Just two and a half months later, on January 21st, 2020, an Airbus A350 operated by Delta Airlines was en route over the Beaufort Sea on a flight between Detroit and Seoul, South Korea. Suddenly, one of the engines failed on this A350 as well, compelling the crew to divert their aircraft to Fairbanks, Alaska. Initially, reports indicated that the engine had surged and was automatically shut down thereafter. But after two in-flight shutdowns of engines in the span of just two and a half months, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency EASA, decided to investigate the cases more closely. What they found is almost unbelievable. In both cases, the engines of the A350s involved were perfectly fine. According to the data available, the engine failures were in fact not failures, but inadvertent shutdowns. As it turns out, somebody on the Asiana flight spilled their tea onto the engine master switches and the ECAM control panel right here. The ECAM control panel is used to control the various instrument screens. Sometimes after the T-spill, the right-hand engine shut down due to inconsistent signals coming from the engine master switch and the ECAM control panel. The same thing happened in the case of the Delta Airlines A350, only that in this case, the spilled liquid was in fact coffee. Here too the right-hand engine shut down without pilot input some time after the liquid had been spilled. After the issue was identified, the EASA immediately published an emergency airworthiness directive, alerting airline operators to the fact that a liquid spill onto the engine master switches or ECAM panel could result in one or even both engines quitting. This could result in a forced landing and even the loss of the aircraft and the death of its occupants. Airbus immediately defined a liquid prohibited zone, indicating that liquids may under no circumstances be placed or moved near the center pedestal. Also, the company created a waterproof cover that now had to be placed over the engine master switches and ECAM panel from after takeoff to just before landing. Of course, this solution was not acceptable in the long run, 
so Airbus developed a water-resistant engine master and ECAM control panel that could handle a coffee spill. It was fitted to all Airbus A350s in the second half of 2020. I was a bit amazed to hear about these incidents. Of course, it should be common sense to never pass liquids over cockpit equipment worth millions of dollars, but accidents do happen from time to time, and I would have expected for aircraft designers to have accounted for pilot clumsiness. Another interesting tidbit to this story is the fact that many A350 pilots have previously complained that the cup holders on the aircraft are unusually small, which often makes it impossible to place an actual coffee cup there. This apparently prompted a few individuals to misuse the central pedestal as a place to put down their coffee. Not a wise idea in any aircraft. The issue of a bad cup holder and coffee cup interaction is not limited to the A350, as it would seem. On February 6, 2019, a Thomas Cook Airbus A330 that operated on behalf of Condor suffered a liquid spill into the audio control panel of one of the onboard radios. At that time, the aircraft was somewhere over the middle of the North Atlantic. The unit thereafter lit up like a Christmas tree and produced smoke. Also, it malfunctioned, making communications difficult. The pilots stunned their oxygen masks, dumped fuel and diverted their aircraft to Shannon in Ireland. The National Air Accident Investigation Unit summarized the issue as follows. The size of cups used by this operator on this route made it more difficult to take cups in and out of the coffee cup holder than larger cups that have a bigger area at the top of the cup holder to grasp. This incompatibility generally discouraged the use of the cup holder, despite the policy that indicates to use it at all times. But it's not just Airbus planes that seem to have issues of mixing fluids and electronics. In early 2021, the US FAA issued a warning to operators of the Boeing 777 freighter that the potable water system may have to be deactivated until an issue with it is resolved. In some cases, the system could produce a leak that would then spill water into the least favorable location, the electronics bay of the aircraft that houses all flight computers. Certainly not a scenario that one would wish to experience. So this was the story of how one of the world's most advanced airliners was defeated by a cup of tea or coffee. In hindsight, I think we can be grateful that in both cases, just one engine shut down, inconveniencing passengers and pilots with a diversion. If the spills had resulted in a dual engine shutdown, the possible resulting loss of life would have been unforgivable. Sometimes a little luck goes a long way. It still amazes me though that nobody at Airbus thought of that. Anyway, I'm glad Airbus resolved the issue and the A350 still remains my favorite aircraft. I would absolutely love to fly it one day. But would I keep my coffee away from the center pedestal? You bet I would. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more future aviation videos. Or join my Patreon for many cool benefits. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.